بسم الله الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Welcome back to Arabic Made Easy This is your brother Abu Muhammad In the last lesson we completed the exercises for the third conversation of Unit 1 From this lesson until the end of the unit we're going to practice the four important language skills that every student must practice and these are the first one listening then speaking then reading then writing in today's lesson we're going to start with the listening now let's open our books to page number eight we have on top of the page says the first exercise it says which means listen then means put Alama means the sign. The tick sign is called Alama al Sah or Alama al Sahih. Fil Murabba al Munasib in the appropriate box. So, in front of us, we have six questions. Beside each question, there are two options an option on the right side, option on the left side. What we're going to do is to listen to an audio. And what I would like you to do is to listen to the word carefully because you're only going to hear one word for each question. So, what we meant, what we meant to do is to tick one of the two boxes that matches the word that we hear. So, for example, if the first question we hear, if the first word matches the first the picture on the right side, then put a tick inside the box of the picture on the right side. If it matches the picture on the left side, then put a tick on the box of the picture on the left side. Can we put two ticks on each question? No, you can only put one tick for each question. So, listen to the audio carefully. Do the answers by yourselves. Then we're going to check the answers together. استمع ثم ضع علامة صحيح. في المربع المناسب واحد هذا اثنان اخت ثلاثة مدرس اربعة مصر خمسة طبيبة ستة أنت Now let's go over the answers. Number one is the picture on the right side, هذا. Number two is the picture on the left side, أخت. Number three is the picture on the left side, مدرس. Number four is the picture on the right side, مصر. Number five is the picture on the left side, طبيبة. Number six is the picture on the left side, أنت. Now let's go to the next exercise. It says at tadribu thani, the second exercise. It says ashir, which means point ila sura to the picture alati the one tasma'u ismaha that you can hear the name of it. Please note here that this instruction is not correct. As we're not asked to point, we're asked to put a tick on the boxes. So this instruction we should leave it out. We should follow the previous instruction. So in front of us there are three questions. For each question there are four possible answers. Only one of the four is correct. So we're going to listen to an audio and we're going to tick the box of the picture that matches the word that we're going to hear. Before I start with the audio, I'd just like to go over the, uh, the words in the picture in case they're not clear. So the picture starting from the top right side, the first line where the four options are, is the word Sadiq. This is picture Hamza. Then picture Ba is Akh. Then picture Jim is Ukht. Then picture Dal is Sadiqa. Now next line starting from the right side, picture Hamza, is Anti. Then picture Ba is Hadi. Then picture Jim is Turkia. Then picture Dal is Anta. Then the last line starting from the right side. The first one Hamza is Pakistan. Then after picture Ba is Hada. Picture Jim is Sadiq. Then after the last picture Dal is Mudarris. Now I'm going to play the audio. What I would like you to do is to the, do the answers by yourselves. Then we're going to check the answers at the end. التدريب الثاني أشر إلى الصورة التي تسمع اسمها أولا أخت ثانيا أنت ثالثا مدرس Now let's go for the answers Number one is picture Jim which, which uh, is the word أخت Number two is picture Anti, which is the first one, picture Hamza. Number three is Mudarris, which is the last picture on the left side, picture Dal. Next exercise is Qul, which means say, Ism, the name, as of the picture, Allati, the one, Yushiru ilayha al-Mudarris, that the, that the teacher is pointing to. Because I cannot hear you say the picture, we're going to uh, skip this 
exercise. Now let's move on to the next page. It says Mufradatun Idafiya additional vocabulary. Al Arab the display. It says Umdu wastam yuaid. Look, listen, and repeat. Here we're going to be introduced to numbers in the Arabic language. We're going to learn how to say numbers what from one to five. As you know, the issue of numbers is very important as we need to use numbers every single day in our lives. We need to know numbers to be able to tell the age, the time, the date when calling people, buying and selling, speed of the car that we're driving. Almost every single part of our lives needs, we need to know the numbers. So here we're going to start from one to five. So we have the first one, picture of a pen. One pen, it says wahid. Wahid means one. And the shape of it is like number one, but a little bit bent on the top side. Number two is ithnan. Ithnan means two. It's similar to how wahid is listen, but wahid is written, but a little flick going on the right side. Then we have thalatha. Thalatha means three, similar to how number two is, but with two flicks. So instead of number one, number two is one flick, number two is two flicks. Then we have here arba'a. Arba'a means four. Then we have here khamsa. Khamsa means five, similar to an oval shape. Now let's move on to the next exercise. It says at tadribul awwal, the first exercise. Sil, which means connect, bayna between al adad the number, was surah al munasib and the appropriate picture. In front of us, we have pictures of books, from one book to five books, and underneath them we have numbers one to five. What we need to do is to connect the number to the correct number of books. So, what I'd like you to do is to pause the video now, do the answers by yourselves, then we're going to do the answers together. Now let's go over the answers. We're going to connect the first picture, which has one book, to Wahid. The second picture, that we have, which has four books, we're going to connect it to number Arba'a, four. The third picture, we have three books, we're going to connect it to Thalatha, number four. The fourth picture, we had, we had, which has two books, we're going to connect it to Ithnan. And the last picture, which has five books, we're going to connect it to Khamsa. Now let's move on to the next activity. It says, at tadribu Thani. The second exercise it says Ratib, which means put in order al adad the number. Put the numbers in order, starting from the from the lowest to the highest, and the smallest to the biggest, and the first one's already been done for you. So the first number one is done. Put these numbers in order. We have Ithnan, Thalatha, Wahid, Khamsa, and Arba. Put them in order, starting from the lowest, and the first one has already been done for you. Pause the video, complete the exercise by yourselves, then we're going to do the answers together at the end. Now let's go over the answers. The first one has already been done. Wahid, then after that it is Ithnan, which is two, then Thalatha, which is three, then Arba'a, which is four, then Khamsa, which is five. Now let's move on to the next exercise. Al Tadrib Thani, the third exercise. It says Ashir, which means point ila al adad to the number al tasma'u, the number that you can hear. Because I'm not able to hear you saying it, we're going to skip this exercise as well as the next exercise, because the next exercise wants you to say the number that the teacher is pointing to, because I cannot hear you saying it, we, we're going to skip this exercise as well. What did we do in today's lesson? In today's lesson, we practiced listening activities, and we also introduced numbers in the Arabic language. We took numbers one to five. This is what we're going to learn with regards to numbers in this first unit. In the second unit, numbers will be increased. If anyone has any questions related to today's lesson, please feel free to ask. Inshallah, we'll try to get back to the answers as soon as we can. Jazakum khairan for watching. Until next time, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.